Michael and I had a big argument. And I cut his whoopie doo. I whipped his ass. When was this? You were about 12, 11, 12 years I old. I remember. All of a sudden, man, it, I, I, it was time for supper. And I just seemed to his room. Tell him, don't come out of that room, no goddamn time tonight. So I went to Michael's room to get him because he ain't come out. So we go, Michael! Trump is up! Suey, suey, suey! Michael wouldn't come. That's true, he would really do that. How I would do that. Woo! Soup so fat, boy! Hey, hey. yo, and I used to call up for supper. So I was looking for him. Michael fucking ran away. He tied he up two pair of drawers and his shoes. The only two pair I had left, probably. And I went looking for him. I couldn't find him. Two or three hours ago, I didn't know Michael. Get worried now. Here it's like nine o'clock at night. No Michael. Oh, that goddamn little bastard. Where the fuck is he at? End up having to call the police at midnight. <laughs> The goddamn police, they came and they looked at my house. They said, Mr. Green, we need, after we find him, we have to have a talk. Oh, I said, fuck. So they they out looking at all of a sudden, we got the first responders, we got the fire department, we got the goddamn highway patrol, we got the goddamn police of Gaston. We must have 50, 60 people, neighbors, everybody looking for Michael. Never found Michael until about 3 o'clock in the morning. Michael was behind the house, on top of the shed, watching everything. <laughs> Never made a sound. <laughs> the goddamn, and who found him? The neighbor was looking out the window in her backyard and seen some movement on top of the damn shed, thought it was a goddamn prowler and called bullies. So the police run to the goddamn house. We understand there's, there's somebody on top of your roof. Fucking Michael. I was hiding under a blanket. Down his ass on top. Oh my God, man. They threatened to put him in DJJ. They threatened to get him in middle. They told me to get him in middle health. I was screaming like a monkey, I remember. Michael. Ooh, ah! <laughs> Let me do the face. Oh, you gotta see his face, Michael. I was going. <laughs> The Michael ran with mom, and, and it took us like the, about 12 hours, and he's on top of the roof. They done, they done been to the guy, they done been to the top of the water tower. They done checked the bottom of the pool at the, at the school. I remember at one point, Dad came in the backyard and started crying while he was smoking. And I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was a real piece of shit. I'm telling you. <clears throat> but that wasn't the only time he ran away. Oh, yeah. There was another time, and it was about Amanda. Enough about this shit. We lived in Leesville then. And he figured he didn't, he, I'm not living in the house with Charlie anymore. <laughs> he stole my girlfriend, and I don't have anybody to do any more to love me. He just didn't give me. Enough. Oh my God. I said, son. You'll find a girl one day. No, I won't, Daddy. I just, I can't live here anymore. And he left. Told Charlie, you son of a bitch, you stole this woman, and you can find his ass and bring him home. Fuck him, Daddy. Oh, I said, you son of a bitch, go find your goddamn brother. No. Go. So, all of a sudden, heard the goddamn dogs. My neighbor had a bunch of hound dogs, right? Motherfucker had a goddamn Michael pinned to the fucking tree. <laughs> he ran away when the dogs got after his ass. They ran him up a goddamn pine tree. Michael, Daddy, can you go here and go to the wall and beat me up? They should have been put in a cage or something. But Michael, never forget his name. I can't live without Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.